for devoted. You have devoted your life to serving God and others. Classmates at a Brooklyn Catholic school giving Bishop Nicholas DiMarzio a big schoolyard send off. I'm Christine Persichetti with this current news update. The bishop arrived for an early morning prayer service with the students and staff of St. Athanasius Catholic Academy, and he left with a very special honor. Jessica Easthope has the story from Bensonhurst. Hey, good morning. Good morning, morning Bishop. Bishop Nicholas DiMarzio holds a special place in his heart for these kids. <laughs> Over the last 18 years, he's watched generations of students go on to learn and live their faith. And now as he heads toward retirement, they're thanking him for all they've accomplished together. A goodbye and thank you prayer service was held for Bishop DiMarzio Thursday at St. Athanasius. The students represented all 70 Catholic academies in the Diocese of Brooklyn, which has thrived under Bishop DiMarzio's leadership especially during the pandemic. Catholic education was his, always his priority. He got energized because he saw that the children were the future of our church. In that time, diocese schools had their first boost in enrollment in a decade. All schools opened for in-person learning in September of 2020 and saw a 2.5% increase in total enrollment. The fastest growing schools in the diocese gained more than 1,000 students and the diocese launched a fully remote elementary school. I've been educated in Catholic schools right through and I see the difference uh, that it does make in allowing you to understand your faith and be able to live it and uh, this is what we need more of it. At the prayer service, the Bishop DiMarzio Angel Scholarship was presented. Through Futures in Education, two students, one from Brooklyn and one from Queens, will receive a year's tuition. We're trying to make Catholic schools affordable to everyone. For most of them, they can't afford the whole thing, so we subsidize it, and that's important. Continuing the Bishop's promise of keeping Catholic education accessible and affordable for all. In Bensonhurst, Jessica Easthope, Currents News. Bishop DiMarzio will retire on November 30th when Bishop Robert Brennan of Columbus will be installed as the 8th Bishop of Brooklyn. In other news, New Yorkers really don't care about the mayoral race, at least when it comes to voting. Only 23% of registered voters showed up at the polls this year. That's less than 1.2 million people in a city with a population of over 8 million. This year's turnout is about the same as the past three mayoral elections. The 2020 election brought out voters in droves. Nearly 62% turned out to decide the race between Biden and Trump. If you work for a large company and haven't been vaccinated yet, you may have to reconsider. The Biden administration has set a vaccine mandate deadline for private companies that receive Medicare and Medicaid. Businesses with 100 or more employees have until January 4th to get everyone vaxxed or they have to undergo weekly COVID testing. The mandate impacts about 84 million American workers. COVID can now be officially treated with a pill. The UK has just authorized a drug called Molnupiravir. It's manufactured by Merck. The drug has shown to reduce symptoms and speed up recovery, cutting hospitalizations and deaths by half. The pill is not yet available in the US. The DOJ is pushing back on a White House proposal to pay $450,000 per person to every family separated at the border, saying that's simply too high. And now even President Joe Biden appeared dismissive when questioned by reporters. $450,000 per person, is that what you're saying? That was separated from a family member at the border under, under the last administration. That's not gonna happen. This all stemmed from a Wall Street Journal article last Thursday about negotiations between the White House, the ACLU, and hundreds of migrant families. No word yet on whether a different amount is being discussed. Meanwhile, if you want to break even compared to a year ago, you have two choices. Cut back on your spending or somehow raise your earnings by more than 5%. That's how much inflation has risen, and it's now a 30-year high. That has average Americans feeling that strain at grocery stores and gas stations. One family says they're squeezed to the tune of an extra $100 a week. We're at $90 already, and we've got a basket and a half left. But God is good and always provides. If it continues, um, we're just going to have to get more creative um, and maybe pick up an extra job if we have to. Um, you know doing food delivery or, you know, something like that to, to help make up the difference. The family of 10 spends around $300 each week on groceries. In the Diocese of Brooklyn, as we observe All Souls Day, departed clergy were memorialized. 
Lord, hear our prayer. Bishop DiMarzio celebrating Mass Thursday at the Cathedral Basilica of St. James in Brooklyn. The liturgy is held every year on the feast day of St. Charles Borromeo, the patron saint of bishops, cardinals, and seminarians. The Diocese of Brooklyn is preparing for the installation of the 8th Bishop of Brooklyn, Bishop Robert Brennan. But how did he even become a priest? You can read all about it in this week's edition of the tablet. Find out more about the bishop's childhood and the role model who inspired him to discern and eventually answer the call to priesthood. All that and more in this week's tablet, so pick one up. And you can also subscribe for home delivery of the paper on the tablet.org. That is this Currents News Update. I'm Christine Persichetti. Thank you for joining us because we are putting your faith in the news.